Yeah, guys, Sansa here, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your own intros inside Final Cut Pro X without any other external things, so footage or something like that. Because Final Cut Pro is such a great software for making many things, so if you don't really know how to use it properly yet, today's a chance to learn. So I'm going to be making a really, really cool intro. Um, as you can see, I am here in my Untitled Project, because Untitled Project sounds so cool. No, it doesn't, but still, whatever. Let's get into our footage. So over here, if you don't know how Final Cut Pro works, or you just got Final Cut Pro, um, but you should if you have used iMovie before. It's kind of similar, but uh, I mean, like, the darkened face and stuff is similar. Um, if you have not new to video editing, then Final Cut Pro is not too hard, but it has so many more features, and uh, it's kind of hidden, some of them. Um, so let's get into this. So what we're gonna do first is find nice footage for us. So go over here to set 2 and find a nice piece of footage. Now I'm just gonna grab, uh, let's say this. This looks, uh, no, I'm gonna try making it something like my intro, but you can't, uh, that includes external footage. This is kind of like things that, uh, I'm just gonna take white actually. You know what, let's just take white and then we can add on to that later. Um, I'm gonna leave it over here. You can make it 4K if you're using only for, uh, you can use it, you can do anything you want, but I'm just gonna leave it here just because of the tutorial and it has to render quickly and stuff like that. So, let's get back to the topic. All right, so over here, what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna, like, let's just play it through this. There's nothing really happening. The generator, um, it's kind of smoky. Let's just try making this cream. All right, that's not too good. Bright white. Antique white. Um, just experiment, you know? Make something nice. Make something that you really like. Uh, mint? Mint. I think I'm gonna stick with mint. Um, and so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, get these things called drifting. And I'm gonna put that on top of what we have here, and um, I'm gonna make this a little smaller. Um, so there we go. Uh, now we're gonna do generator for this instead of bubbles. I'm gonna set this to sparks, and uh, the number is gonna be a lot more. Uh, we can't really see them now, so um, yeah, I should be able to see them. Um, they're small yellow things. I think you might be able to see them over there. I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna make them a little bigger. And uh, let's turn this a little down. It's kind of too, um, let's keep it as smoky. There we go, now you can see them. Um, so that's how it looks. So far so good. Um, so yeah, that's the beginning. So what we're gonna do now is um, we're gonna try making the name appear like pretty cool. So what we want to do is uh, put in this. Let's just try experimenting a bit. Um, so I'm gonna put this on top of this and drag this down to about there. Now, uh, generator has all of this. We don't really mess with. We don't need to mess with the generator, but I'm just gonna do it just so that we can uh, get to this white thing. So yeah, let's just get this about there, maybe. Just don't make it completely wide, otherwise there will be no difference. Um, try making it about all of them at the same little difference, lighter here and there, and make this the darkest. Uh, lastly, I'm gonna make this uh, black. There we go. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to video, and we're gonna go all the way down and go to the opacity. Here we're gonna turn this down to about there. Um, so. Yeah, so we have this really cool effect, because even the blobs move a bit, uh, so yeah, it looks pretty cool, as you can see. Now what we're gonna do is, um, so I have a idea, I don't know if this might work, but let's try. Um, so, let's put this on top of here, and then when it reaches a certain number, your name just appears. So you can't make it too complex. You can if you have external footage, which I'm not going to be doing here in today's video. But if you do want a video uh, showing you guys how to do that, then tell me in the comment section below. But this is just a small intro, you know, just for you getting started in YouTube and stuff like that. Or not only for YouTube, maybe for something else. Maybe you're just 
want to make an intro just to impress your friends or anything like that. So, yeah, let's just... So there we go. Um, I'm going to make this a little faster. So what we're going to do is go to our generator and um, let's change the color to black. And we're going to change the font to agency FP because it looks really... Oh, maybe I'm going to keep... No, I'm just going to go to agency FP because that font looks really, really cool. And uh, we can, I think... No, we can't. Oh, yeah, we can. Uh, we can uh, increase the scale because that was we, that's what we want. Uh, so we're going to drag this down so that somewhere in the center, just like this. And we're going to go back to generator and um, uh, we want more than 300, right? So we're going to end this at, let's say, a 500 would do. So double click, press delete and uh, 500, type in 500. So there we go. And now we have it until 500. So this should speed it up. Yeah, but that's not fast enough. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to actually, we don't need it that fast. We're just going to make this a little smaller because our intro should be for a decent size should be around um, five to six seconds. Uh, so we're going to put this until five and um, there we go. Now what we're going to do is head over to our text menu and uh, if you want it 3D, but that wouldn't really, I would recommend going to basic title and drag your basic title onto your blobs and scale this down obviously to about here so it's lined up with everything else. Now here just says title so you're gonna get the text and in setup title you want to edit it so I'm just gonna write uh, Sonic Sid. You can write your name on this obviously I think you figure that out um, and go to 2D styles and I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna do paper just for today. Um, so yeah, and now you can't see anything, which is kind of weird, and you don't want that. So we need to go to face, and so yeah, sorry. Go to face, which is this, and click on this uh, button called show, and it will show you all of this. Now click on texture and go to color, and uh, choose the color black or any other color. I'm just going to go with black. Um, I'm going to put the blur up because it actually looks pretty cool. You know, that blur effect. And um, I'm going to change the font to Agency FB uh, or maybe something else. You can change it to whatever you want. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it here to this uh, just for today's interaction. That's, that this looks kind of weird. So I'm going to change that to um, Agency FB. Um, so let's go up. Uh, yeah, and there we go. And the blur is kind of too much. So we're going to increase the size. Maybe until there. And the blur, we're going to put down to about there. Just a bit of blur. We don't need too much. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's keep that there. And now what we're going to do is uh, an interesting part. A transition for this guy. Otherwise, it'll look kind of plain and dull. So click on your, um, your title and uh, text. And uh, go to your video option over here. Now go down uh, to trim and you want to keyframe. So you want to put it over here and keyframe this. And the same with your right. Only use the left and right. And uh, halfway through, you want to go here again. Select yours. Don't forget that. And then go back. You'll automatically keyframe it. Don't worry about that. So now what you have is something like that, which looks really, really cool. And, um, um, yeah, so now what you want to do is put your subtitle. Um, so you want to take another basic title and drag that over onto here. Nope, not there. Nope, not there. Yeah, so drag that over on top of... Ah, oh, stop doing that. Stop doing that. <laughs> Alright, so drag it over until here. Don't replace anything, just drag it here. Nice. Now line it up. And what you want to do is keep it here and then drag this halfway through. So you only want it appearing halfway through. Um, and do the same for this. Uh, so uh, uh, put this all the way to full and this all the way there. And keyframe, keyframe, and go halfway through. Actually, this is enough for this. 
and put them back to zero. And there we go. Now we go back to text and we're going to edit this to, let's just say, uh, uh, videos. You can write whatever you want. It's your choice. And uh, just make it the same size uh, just so that it looks better. And I'm going to make this black. Uh, and choose a different font for this. I'm going to choose uh, maybe this. Impact would do. And I am going to go back to video and move this down right below Sonic Sid. And I would uh, put some blur on this, but not as much as uh, the main title. So go back to face and blur. I'm going to pump it up a bit, just that much. And this is how, this is what you get now. Uh, we're not done yet, but we're nearly there. We're getting there. So if you don't want this much of the numbers, I think you don't need that much, but yeah, it's kind of too long. So what we're going to do is shorten this a bit. We're going to take this halfway through just this much, and we're going to track this all the way here. And that's all we really need. So yeah, we're going to take this all the way here. Um, same with this. Oh yeah, we need to do it independently. It's not like logic where you, <laughs> you just do that. All right, whatever. Uh, you can speed this up. You can put this a little earlier if you do want to, but I'm just going to leave it like this so that we don't have to do everything again. So yeah, now what we're going to do is uh, go over to... Oh uh, yeah, what we're going to do now... Uh, sorry. Yeah, now we're going to go over to here and we're going to go to blur. And we're going to click on focus and drag that over to our whites. Now this is going to give us a nice depth of field. Uh, you can't really notice it too much, but it actually does a lot. Um, so I'm going to drag this over here, and I'm going to go to video, and I am going to go to focus and put the amount higher with the softness at full. And that looks really cool. Um, so yeah, so that's what we have. Um, now all we need to do is do the music. Um, and you don't really, you can use... Uh, so basically what you want to do is when you're putting music in, you want to, like if you're putting an external song, like a song from, let's say Martin Garrix or something like that. So you put the build up until here and then when the title hits in, when, when it says Sonic Sid, so about here, this is when um, the drop starts and then you put it down. So I'm just going to take a song, let's just put in a random song here. And, uh, yeah, so I think you can figure that out yourself. I don't really have to show you that. Um, so that is basically it. You can go to your effects panel and, uh, you know, do whatever you want with it. You can edit this a little more and do the sound design. But after that, you're basically set. Uh, this is what you get. It's not rendered, obviously. It'll look much better when it's rendered. But there we go. So that is an intro for you. If you did enjoy this video, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share it. See you next time.